So let's look at another example on how to use the quadratic formula to solve an equation. Looks like this. Um, we can totally see that this is out of place, but even worse, we have fraction in this case, right? So why don't we look for the lowest common denominator? In this case, we just have the three. So the lowest common denominator is equal to three, and we are going to multiply everything by three. Multiply everything by three. This and that will cancel out. We just get two x squared equals to um, this three and that three cancels out. We have just one x here plus three times one is just three. Okay. So just make it a good habit whenever you see any equation that involves fractions. Look for the common denominator. Look for the least common denominator. And then multiply each and everything by that common denominator. So now we have this. Let's bring everything onto the other side because we must have the equation in the standard form. So I will subtract x right here, minus x right here. So they cancel out. So also let me put down minus x here plus 3 here, so then I will have to minus 3 to get rid of this plus 3. Minus 3 right there. Put things in order. The one with the x squared goes first, which is the 2x squared. And then minus x, minus 3. On this side, it's equal to 0. So we did it. We got what we need, right? The standard form and the other side is equal to 0. Then identify What's the value of a, which is 2? What's the value of b, which is negative 1? And what's the value of c, which is negative 3? Okay. Um, before we use the quadratic formula, you should actually check to see if this is actually factorable or not. But then again, in this case, we are trying to practice you know, how to use the quadratic formula. We are trying to get familiar with the quadratic formula. That's why um, I'm showing you guys how to do this instead of the uh, factoring methods. Anyways, once we have this, I know from the quadratic formula, and I'm not going to look at this. Look at this, okay? X is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b square b to the second power minus 4ac everything on the top over 2a, just like this, okay? Now we have all these numbers, right? all these numbers and the formula. We are just going to plug in the numbers into the variables. So begin with the negative, I see the b, I will open the parentheses, b is negative one, so bring this negative one into that parentheses. A plus minus, I have the square root, I see the b right here, I will open the parentheses, b is negative 1. I have the square from the formula, minus 4, I see the a, I open the parentheses, make the square root longer. <laughs> Instead of this parentheses, I will draw in the 2, okay? And then c, it's a number negative 3. On the top, everything over 2 times a, which is 2. Okay. So this is the setup. This is the setup. Now, let's just finish this up. I have negative times negative 1, which becomes a positive 1, and then plus minus square root of something inside. And I'm just going to get a number out of this. Well, we have to do the calculation here. So let me do this on the side. Inside. For the inside, will be negative 1 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 3, like this. Negative 1 squared, that means negative 1 times negative 1. It's positive 1. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. But then negative times negative is positive, become plus, and we have 25. This number will go inside of the square root. So both of this over 4, because 2 times 2 is 4, so let me just write it as 4. Okay? So now this is pretty much you know, almost done. This is almost done. Now we just need to think about 
we have the square root of 25, right? That's actually doable. Square root of 25 is equal to 5. So then we are going to split this into two parts. Okay, we are going to work out both of the uh, numbers. The first part, it will be the 1 plus 5. 1 plus 5. Because we have square root 25, that's equal to 5. Over 4. X is equal to that as one of the possibility. Or, another case, it will be x equals to 1, but minus, minus 5, over 4. And once we write down these two, we can just you know, work this out. 1 plus 5 is 6 over 4. And of course, 6 over 4, we can reduce that. 2 goes into 3, two, two, sorry, 2 goes into 6, 3 times, 2 goes into 4, 2 times. So the first answer is x is equal to 3 over 2. Or another choice, another possibility. 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 4 over the bottom is 4. So in another word, x could also equal to negative 4 over 4, which is negative 1. So both of these could be the answer. Right? Both of these are the solution, actually. Both of these are the solution to the original equation. And again, let's check with our calculator. Just do this real quick. So go to mode, go to equation, and this is the ax squared plus bx plus c that I want to enter. Go to 3. a is equal to 2, b is equal to negative 1, c is equal to negative 3. And then just hit equal, and as you can see, x1 is indeed 3 over 2, and then x2, the second answer, it's indeed negative 1. And before you, uh, I want to, before you go, I'll show you, because if you, no matter what, if you just press uh, all clear, or just if you just uh, keep pressing on, uh, it won't go back to the normal mode. You need to go to the mode, and then go back to computation. And this is where you can you know, set it back to the normal calculator mode. This is how you do this question.